what is gear two third wheels are known as gears which are matched together and transfer the motion between two shafts in which one is a driver gear and other one is a follower gear as we know that slipping of a belt or rope is a common fact in the transmission of motion or power between two shaft because of slipping velocity ratio is reduced so to eradicate this problem we use gear mechanism in any power transmission system that is in precision machinery in which a definite velocity ratio is required positive drive or gear drive is used actually it is a modified form of friction wheel to avoid slipping teeth is provided on the periphery of friction wheel such type of construction is called gear This is a flow chart of gear classification. Gears are classified into three groups according to axis of shaft, according to peripheral velocity of the gear and according to the type of gearing. According to the axis of shaft. Gears are classified into three groups: parallel shaft gears, intersecting shaft gears, and non intersecting or non parallel shaft gears parallel shaft gears are classified into two groups spur gear and helical gears further helical gears are classified into two groups single helical gear and double helical gears or herring bones gear intersecting shaft gears are classified into following groups wavel gear coniflex wavel gear zirol wavel gear spiral gear meter gear angular gear and crown gear non intersecting and non parallel shaft gears are classified into three groups crossed helical gear hypoid gear and warm gear now according to peripheral velocity of the gear gears are classified into three groups low velocity gears medium velocity gears and high velocity gears according to the types of gearing gears are classified into three groups external gearing internal gearing and rack and pinion gears now we are going towards the brief description of gears parallel shaft gear first one is spur gear spur gear have straight teeth and parallel to the axis and thus they are not subjected to axial thrust due to the tooth load when direction change between the two shaft is required spur gear cannot be used helical gear in helical gears the teeth are curved each being helical in shape and uh, they are less efficient than a spur gear double helical gear 
or herring one's gear. A double helical gear is equivalent to a pair of helical gears secured together, one having a right hand helix and other a left hand helix. They are mostly used in heavy machinery. Intersecting shafts gear. First one is wavel gear. Wavel gear are primarily used to transfer power between intersecting shafts. The teeth of these gears are formed on a conical surface. They are become noisy above thousand feet per minute. Straight wavel gear have straight teeth. Gear of a same size and connecting two shafts at right angles to each other are known as meter gear. Spiral bevel gear. When the teeth of bevel gears are inclined at an angle to the face of the bevel, they are known as spiral bevel gear or helical bevels. They are smoother in action and quieter than a straight tooth wavels as uh, there is gradually load applications and low impact stresses. They are used in differential of an automobile. Zero wavel gear. A spiral wavel gear with curved teeth but uh, with a zero degree spiral angle are known as zero wavel gear. Coniflex Wavel Gear It is a modified form of a straight wavel gear and it have teeth in the shape of cutting blades. Angular Gear Angular gears whose shafts are set at an angle other than 90 degree, they are useful when the direction of a shaft rotation needs to be changed. Crown Wavel Gear A gear having teeth that project at right angle to the face of the wheel is called Crown Wavel Gear. Now Non-parallel and non-intersecting shafts gear. First one is crossed helical gear. These gears are used to drive feed mechanism on machine tools, camshaft and oil pumps on small IC engines, etc. Worm gear The shaft may have any angle between them but uh, normally it is 90 degree. Worm drives the drive gear primarily with sleeping motion, thus uh, there are high friction losses with warm gears. Hypoid gears. A hypoid gear is a style of a spiral bevel gear whose main variance is that the matting gears axis do not intersect. The hypoid gear is offset from the gear center allowing unique configuration and a large diameter shaft. Teeth on a hypoid gear are helical.